Good morning guys and welcome back to the Race German YouTube channel. This is going to be episode 2 and today we're going to talk about the Z3 S54 radiator upgrade. So this is a very common upgrade for E30s and E36s and I've actually already done this in my track car but when I swapped in the new M52 B28 I found a uh, small pinhole leak in the radiator so I ordered a brand new one from FCP Euro. It came in so I thought I'd share this, uh, I'd take this opportunity and uh, share share the install and my thoughts on it. All right, so here we go. What are we gonna talk about in this video? Uh, what is it? Uh, why? Why we're even doing it? Uh, a comparison between this radiator and the other ones on the market. Um, install and my final thoughts on it. So uh, let's jump into number one. All right, what is it? This is a Z3, it's, this radiator is OEM BMW, uh, it's made by Bayer, um, and it comes in the Z3 uh, M Coupe and M Roadster, but only with the S54 engine. So obviously the Z3 Roadster and M Coupe came with a S52 early on, and then when they went to the S54, they actually had to put a bigger radiator in it. So this is why this uh, upgrade is so popular. And this is actually why this works in E30s and E36s, is because the Z3 was actually shared a lot of components with the E36 chassis. So this radiator fits an E36 chassis, and it just so happens that the E30 is similar to the E36 enough where the radiator actually fits right in with absolutely zero modifications. All right, so let's move on to the next one, number two. So why would you do this? Um, cooling obviously uh, the Z3 S54 radiator it has a 42 millimeter core versus the stock E36 M3 radiator which is I think 34 millimeter core the stock M20 radiator front in E30s is around 32 millimeters and I believe the uh, M42 radiator which is a lot actually smaller um, is around 42 millimeter thick as well so that's the biggest benefit of this. If you're doing high performance driving, uh, you live in a really hot climate like Arizona, um, doing a lot of track days and things like that, you want more cooling uh, in your car. Uh, this is especially a great upgrade for uh, 24 valve swap E30s. You're putting a lot bigger engine in E30 and the cooling system that BMW put in here for the M20 is just not as good or it's not really meant to cool the 24 valve E30 or 24 valve engine. So this is a very popular upgrade uh, for those guys as well. Now let's get into comparison. I actually have a couple old radiators over there. I don't have the stock E36 radiator, but I can show you the Z3 S54 radiator, an M20 radiator, and an M42 radiator. Um, so let's move on to number three. Okay, so here we go. These are all three of the radiators that I have that I can show you. The first one is the M20 radiator that comes stock in the E30, M20. Second one's M42 radiator. You notice different about this one, um, it has the reservoir built into the radiator. You can also notice how much uh, smaller the radiator is as far as the width of it. And the last one is the Z3 S54 radiator that we're talking about. So let's go and measure these and see what we get. All right, if I measure the M21, I'm getting 30.8 or 31 millimeters. The M42, the same thing, 30.8. So they're exact same uh, width, but you can notice the, uh, or exact same thickness, but you can notice the widths are different. And then obviously here you go with the S54 Z3 radiator. We're getting that 43 millimeters. So obviously with a thicker core, um, there's actually more coolant that can run through the radiator to um, cool the car or cool the engine better and more efficient and things like that. So this is exactly why we're doing this upgrade. And because everybody loves an unboxing video, let's unbox this thing. The last thing you want to remember before we install this is that we do need to switch over the, uh, the sensor on the left side here.
keep in mind, if you're doing this to your E30, you're gonna have to put the E30 fan switch sensor in the radiator. If this is your E36, you're gonna have to transfer the E36 one. Um, but don't use an E36 one in an E30, so remember that. All right, we're back here. We're done with the comparison. Now let's go install this thing. So here we go. Like I said, this radiator will fit perfectly in here with absolutely zero modifications. Um, make sure you do have these, uh, let's try to focus, these uh, pads down here where the radiator sits. So um, other than that, uh, you'll need the E30 radiator support. Um, I'm not sure all E30s came with this. I believe only the late models did, so like 89 through 91 or 92. Um, but other than that, let's get started. Alright, so that's it. Um, as you can see, the Z3 S54 radiator fits perfectly in there. I still have a ton of room. Uh, I've never run a mechanical fan when I've done the 24 valve swap in the E30. Um, it looks like there's enough room for one, maybe, uh, but I suggest you just run a 16 inch uh, spall fan or something like that to get the, the proper uh, cooling. But other than that, that's it. Let's get back to the whiteboard. Alright, so that's it for the install. Like I said, super simple, super straightforward. Um, it just goes right in, so uh, let's move on to number five, my final thoughts. All right, final thoughts on this. Honestly, it's a no-brainer to me. Um, if your radiator is old, probably maybe the original, something like that, and you're just looking to uh, get a new one, it's a no-brainer. Get this one. Even if you have an M20 or M42, uh, maybe not M42 uh, because it uses different hoses, but if you have an M20, the hoses will all bolt up perfectly. There's no modifications with the inlet and the outlet hose. Um, and the, the greatest pro with this is it's only $140 brand new. Um, so I, like I said, I really suggest you go into FCP Euro, purchase it. They have lifetime warranty on all of it. If the radiator uh, ever springs a leak, you can get a brand new one for free. I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer. It's, it's a pretty awesome deal. Um, finally, I kind of want to talk about aftermarket radiators. So I know a lot of the car community is really, really big into aftermarket aluminum radiators. Um, not sure, maybe it's cool Instagram points, maybe it's because they look kind of cool because they're uh, aluminum and polished or something. But actually, I just see no point in an aftermarket radiator unless you're running some sort of huge um, power, maybe like an S54 turbo or something, and you need a really, really thick core. This radiator is stock, so it's it's engineered by BMW. Um, it, the build quality is great. It's what you would expect from an OEM product. And like I said, if you order from FCP, you're going to get lifetime warranty anyway. So if you're thinking about going to aftermarket radiator, I would kind of not pushy towards that. I would say just get a Z3 S54 radiator, be done with it. I've never had this uh, fail on track or anything like that. Um, it's a stock radiator, everything bolts up, and lifetime war warranty from FCP. So it's a very good solution. Uh, that's my final thoughts. I think everyone should do it if you have an E36 or an E30. Just go ahead and upgrade to this. So, all right, that's it for the video. I hope everyone liked it. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and the like uh, helps me out and uh, hopefully I can continue making these videos and you guys enjoy them. Thanks a lot.